All right, in some lighter news, Buck's Bar and Grill has been a local watering hole in Somerset County since 1968. But new owners Deborah and Jean Hughes have added some tasty menu items that our foodie team was able to try. So here's this week's Foodie Friday. Welcome back to another edition of Foodie Friday in Somerset County. There's an explosion of flavor waiting for you to find it. Let's go check out Buck's Bar and Grill. <laughs> Bucks has been a Somerset County staple since the late 1960s. In 2020, Gene and Deborah Hughes reopened Bucks Bar and Grill in Princess Anne. I've always liked dive bars. I enjoy, you know, the back road, the drive, you know, and, and where we're located is so mm. perfect. A lot of folks say, well, it's so far back there. We're eight minutes off the highway. Gene knew that they needed to spruce up the place, starting with expanding the menu. Well, pretty much any comfort food you can think of. I mean, we're more than, you know, just a, a bar grill. I mean, these things are, are made with a lot of love. Lots of love and toppings are what you'll find in any cheesesteak at Buck's Bar and Grill. Gene prepared the chicken bacon ranch cheesesteak for the foodie team to enjoy. And he truly piled on the toppings. You have the jalapenos, sweet peppers, fried onions, of course. Um, you have bacon. And what was else that we had? Banana something peppers. Spicy, right? We had some banana peppers on there. Take it from me. If you're going to Bucks, make sure you have a big appetite because it's go big or go home. I have this joke that Foodie Friday has turned into like Sloan versus food. This is how I feel. This is Sloan versus food right here. After one giant bite, I finally found the words to describe it. I always say, Messy food's the best food. If I'm not wearing it by the end, don't want it. <laughs> we decided to stick with the theme of messy food, so we tried Jean's wings next, but not the ones you might know. We have quite possibly the hottest wings on the planet, and I challenge anybody to challenge me with that. Those wings are for the more daring. Seriously, you need to sign a waiver to try them. But I still turned up the heat with their Nashville hot wings. We have 14 different flavors, and the Nashville Hot is one of our popular flavors, and it's, it's, it has a little bit of heat to it, but not so much that you can't enjoy it. Gene fries breaded chicken wings in the fryer for a couple of minutes. Then he tosses them in the sauce to really soak up the flavor. Nothing beats a good wing. It's a slow heat, I will say, mm -hmm. but they're good. They're flavorful, a little bit of spice. That's all we need. Of course, we know that foodie photog Mike has a sweet tooth. So he tried one of Deborah's newest creations, their house-made donuts. I've got these twisted up things with looks like chocolate, caramel, and like just powdered sugar. And I said, wow. And when you bite into it, you will see the wow factor. It was so good that foodie photog Mike got lost in his thoughts. It is an art form to get a good yeasty donut. So. Just like everything at Buck's Bar and Grill, these donuts will keep you going back bite after bite. And per usual, I am left hungry after watching that. Well, Buck's Bar and Grill is located at 33594 Dublin Road in Princess Anne. If you go, tell them you saw them on Foodie Friday. And if you have a place that you want our team to check out, email newsroom at WNDT.com.